What's up guys, in this video I'll be giving you my review of the Dirty Unicorn ROM which is available for your Nexus 5 and the Android version that currently I am running along with this ROM is the version of Android 5.0.2 and you can see the Dirty Unicorn label here where you can share it on your from your Nexus 5 and also you'll be getting your device rooted when you install and also flash the G apps uh, on your Nexus 5 so you don't have to reroute again your device after flashing this ROM and uh, related with the customization and the battery life the battery life is stable and it's good I have used this ROM for about a day time and I'll be just showing you the battery life right now as uh, I have rebooted my device and you can see the standby time is really good and I didn't charge my device after flashing this ROM on my Nexus 5 and uh, also with the screen on time the screen on time right now it's a 54 minutes and 13 seconds but do believe me the standby time is really good and the battery life that you get along with this rom is also manageable and good relative to the customization as i'll be showing you you can see the location service is added onto your wireless and networks option where you'll be getting you can see you can you just have to go into your location service and if you want to toggle it on you can toggle it on and uh, also you'll be getting the customization department separate department for your customization where you'll be finding the 30 tweaks available and you just have to go inside it and keep your customize your device as per your need so you have the first thing you can see the general ui you can see miscellaneous tweaks are available where you can disable the immersive mode message and also brightness control where you just have to adjust the brightness control from your status bar by swiping towards the left side or towards the right side and also double tap to sleep option is available on this rom and also your lcd density where you'll be able to change your lcd density and after changing it you can just reboot your device so that you'll be getting more out of your nexus 5 and uh, also your status bar you can tweak your status bar where you can, you'll be able to add the traffic indicators and you just have to enable it and you can see uh, towards the status bar you are going and incoming traffic uh, monitor will be enabled and also a clock and date settings where you'll be you'll be able to align the clock at the center or towards the right side and also you can set up as per your need and also battery options you can change the battery options where you'll be able to change the battery percentage or the battery bar option you can change the color of the battery bar option and also you'll be able to keep the uh, for instance if you want to circle type you can keep the battery percentage as circle or uh, you can keep it as per your need and also a quick setting toggles are available where you'll be able to show your brightness slider on your quick setting panel for instance you can see when i just swipe it down my brightness slider will be gone and if i just toggle it on you can see no brightness slider is available so you can customize it from your quick setting option and also you'll be able to reorder the tiles available in your notification center you can see uh, you can see all the tiles you can uh, rearrange all these tiles uh, from this uh, uh, settings option available in your quick settings and also you can toggle on the enlarge first row and so it's quick pull down smart pull down is also available from your quick settings option and uh, when you go into your multitasking you can do two types of multitasking for instance the omni switch option where you'll be able to just uh, toggle it on and you can see the color appearing towards the right side of the screen you can just tap on it and you'll be able to multitask uh, through this option available here or you'll be able to multitask by just app circle bar for instance i'm just toggling it on and you can see towards the right side uh, where you, when you just toggle the uh, swipe it just uh, increasing the width you can see you can multitask you can select your applications by in going into your include app option for instance i want the blogger browser calculator camera and also my chrome option just tap ok and you can see your applications will be available so you can choose your application as per your need and do it uh, from anywhere for instance if you are in your home screen you just have to slide it towards the left side and you can access your applications or if you are in, in any of the application you can just slide it and access your application to this uh, through this option which is available in your multitask the app circle bar and just talk it, it off and also your, your gesture option is available where you can just toggle it on and you can uh, trigger the position of the gesture for instance towards the left side you can see 
the line appearing and when you just you can keep it. for instance I want to you add a gesture as for the calculator applications like for the calculator I want to add gesture like C done uh, okay now and I just want to access the calculator I just have to draw the gesture and you can see or you can launch the calculator application from your gesture options uh, which is in your multitasking dirty tweaks multitasking and also system preference for instance to like your power menu you can just toggle you can keep for instance uh, the screen record option uh, when i just tap and hold the power menu the screen record option isn't available when you just toggle it on you can see the screen record option is now available you can set up as per your need the settings option and uh, whatever you want on your power menu advanced reboot option is available uh, show always you just have to tap and hold and you can see advanced reboot option is also available uh, from this power menu uh, option and also a recent option when you just go into your multitask you can see the round circular uh, x mark will be appearing when you just tap on it all the applications will be cleared and you can disable the search bar in your recent application when you just toggle it off you can see the google search bar is available and when you just toggle it on you can see the search bar is gone so this can be also be done through your recent option which is available in your 30 tweaks uh, option and also clear all recent location you can just set it up towards the top right top left as a bottom center or bottom left or top center whatever you it's preferable you can do it from your recent option like uh, the system option and also ad blocker is available when you install it on you can disable or you can block the ads from uh, uh, each applications on your on your device the buttons option it just helps you to uh, maintain the volume volume rocker wake for instance the pressing the volume keys will wake up your device when i just lock my device you can see lock my device pressing the volume up will wake up my device so this can also be done through this button option available in your data tweaks and miscellaneous option where you will be able to download the bags banks minimal gaps and also the regular gaps uh, the gaps option is available in your download center so these are the tweaks which are available in your in your uh, dirty unicorn rom on your nexus 5 and also you'll be getting the launcher like the launcher 3 option is also available you can set up your different types of launcher by going into your home option which is available in the device and these are the tweaks that you'll be getting so this is a very fast rom it launches the application quickly and also this rom is stable i didn't find any force close or even lag while using this rom you can see the google play store it has black ui available you can see so this rom includes this ui in your google play store and uh, also i have noticed that uh, you'll be getting the dsp manager pre-installed onto this rom where you'll be able to uh, set up your headset speaker bluetooth or your usb or talk like you can uh, equalize your sound on the, by using this uh, DSP manager and also you'll be getting the inbox of uh, application pre-install on your Nexus 5 after you flash this ROM so this inbox if you have an invite you can use the inbox or you can install a third-party Gmail application on your Nexus 5 so this is the dirty unicorn ROM which is available on your Nexus 5 I'll be leaving the links and also G apps in my, in my description so do check out the description and download this ROM it's really good fast and also smooth so hope you guys like this video and if you do please do give a thumbs up and also do follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Google Plus and also do remain subscribed to my YouTube channel for the more Android content that I will be uploading in the new future. Till then, I will be seeing you in my next video.